I like the way the shape came out. The, the, in, the, the exterior shape will make a little more sense once you see what this was designed to house. So I think basically that. adherence on the edges due to some uh, like epoxy overspray, but oh nice. I guess it changed I guess it changed fill patterns at this particular layer so it made kind of you know these aren't as tall as they could have been. Or maybe there was like a little jam in the printer because that's the layer that it seemed like I needed to super glue on the edge. I don't know. Small printing defect. <laughs> this is satisfying. edge ones. So we've got a couple cutouts for the electronics in the VFD where they were protruding a little more. Uh, so that's what this is for. This, I think there was an inductor, uh, well actually a couple of inductors that stuck up a little more. Um, these rails actually hold the VFD circuit board and I'll be putting some brass threaded inserts into these holes in a sec. experience of trying to break something in only very specific ways. Which is fun, but also nerve-wracking. Ah, yeah, you can start to see the really deep recess. Uh, or one of them. I think the one over there is actually even deeper. Yeah, this one is for some more stuff that sticks out of the back of the VFD. Um, this one is mostly the jumpers where you set baud rate and all that. I think there are a couple of other parts that I also included in that particular bounding box. Oh no, that's the serial adapter. My mistake. That is below the level of the back of the VFD. So the serial adapter will snap into there. I wire that up and then the VFD sits completely over it. Oh, there's the deep one. So this one is mainly for wiring. This is where the VFD was originally designed for like a 20 by 2 big old 0.1 inch box header. And so I mostly made that deep enough for both the header pins and a little room for wiring to plug into it, hence the 
kind of big bulges on either side. Normally the VFD is designed so that this would have all been like behind a panel, so it wouldn't have really mattered how deep it was. We weren't really thinking of uh, this form factor, I think. I mean, I guess this is the closest cousin to like the cash register pole displays, but those were always pretty big and boxy as far as I'd seen them.